Yukon is a popular side dish with plenty of options. You can choose from russet, red, Yukon gold, and even one called the Russian banana. Okay, I'm familiar <laughs> with most of those, but not the other. We're talking about potatoes yes. and making the right choices for your family. Our registered dietitian, Mary Snell, is here to yes. break it all down for us. So many varieties of we potatoes. We have so many varieties, so many shapes, so many uh, different sizes and so forth. And really, when we're trying to find the right potato for the right recipe, here's the key. You know, it, they, they basically are categorized in two different groups. You know, we think about the baking potato, the russet. That is a wonderful potato for, uh, it's called a starchy. It's low moisture. So if you're looking for a baking potato, one for french fries or mashing, stick with the russet potato. But if you're looking for something that holds up well in a potato salad or a casserole or roasting potatoes, then you want to go to the second category, and we call these the waxy potatoes. Okay. They have a higher moisture content, and they're going to make you know they're going to make your potato salad look like phenomenal because the potatoes are going to hold their shape. And there's a certain amount of how much of a potato you should eat. Yes, I'm surprised by this because when I think of a baked potato. I'm thinking this big one. You're thinking that one. And that's really, again, a large serving size. When we talk about potato, we really want to make sure we're talking about a potato about the size of a computer mouse. So look at this, Nicole, in terms of this potato is really the, um, the appropriate standard size. So if you're looking for potatoes, yes, they can be part of a healthy diet, but portion size is so critical. If you're looking at one of these little small round potatoes, two to three or half a cup of potato salad or mashed potatoes is a serving size. I'm storing mine wrong. Help me. <laughs> oh, definitely. I think a lot of people think of a cool location. I put they, them in the refrigerator. That's really, you do not want to put them in the refrigerator. Okay. Put them in your garage if you can in a cool, dark location. In the refrigerator, it will actually change the sugar and the starch, and you're not going to have the potato taste as good. Potatoes have had a bad rap, but they necessarily don't need to. No, and I'm going to share with you one of the best potato salad recipes I have, and I grew well, up with about this. That, I'm yes, taste it. have a taste. Um, my mom made this, so thank you, mom, for making it. It's vinaigrette, and it's a wonderful way to use up beets potatoes, beans, carrots, and dill pickles. And the nice thing about this, Nicole, it's drizzled with olive oil as opposed to a, a fatty, heavy dressing. And so again, what do you think? I like it. It's not dry at all. No. The potatoes are still really soft. Exactly. And even though it doesn't have the mayonnaise, which obviously makes it healthier, yes. you still get that consistency yes. from the olive oil. Yeah, yeah, the olive oil. And as these uh, ingredients all kind of come together, it tastes great the next day. That Trust sounds me. so good. Yes. I loved it, but I want you to try the recipe yourself. Mary's yes. been kind enough to share with us. Just head to WTHR.com. We have it posted there. We'll see you next week, Mary. All right. Scott?